Yeah, that's right, Byron. But even then, both players and parents are eager to get back on the diamond. After an abrupt end to their season that was just getting started, kids and adults alike are willing to do whatever it takes to get back to the game they love. I was telling somebody earlier today I would, I would wear a hazmat suit um, if it meant the boys could get out here and, and play ball. Even if it means some big changes. But we want to do it the right way. We want to be safe how we do it. The Alabama Small Business Emergency Task Force pitching May 11th to get youth sports going again. Scott Patrick and his two sons celebrating the good news on the field. They were excited and said, hey, can we go out and start throwing and, and maybe hit a little bit? So I'm like, hey, yeah, let's go do it. I miss it too. So um, I think I'm having with withdrawals as much as the boys are. The delayed season will come with added precautions. The task force recommending social distancing in the stands and dugouts, using personal protective equipment like masks, closing concession stands and more. Youth baseball leaders say the recommendations are possible. Maybe another recommendation was not even use the dugouts at all. Just let them kind of stay outside, uh, congregated up on the foul lines or something would be something we could look into. But, you know, a simple face mask in the dugout I think would definitely work. However, there are some kinks that will need to be worked out. We can social distance when baseball It's easy to do, except for, like I was talking to a coach today, the hitter, the umpire, and the catcher have to be close. Kevin Kirkendall with Municipal Park Baseball in Mobile says their season will likely be pushed through the end of June. Try to play two or three games a week if we have to to get the season in. While David Chapman with the Spanish Fort Sports Association says they will likely play a six week season through June and July. And youth baseball leaders say they're trying to stay positive as they work out their game plan. Live in Mobile, Morella Porter, Fox 10 News.